Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, just wanted to do another quick safety video. Uh, past couple uh, Monday morning meetings and sometimes during the week we've been talking about uh, tagging out tools when they get returned to the shop if they need any help. Uh, so I have a skill or a chop saw here. Um, really nothing wrong with it other than it, you know it hasn't been properly cleaned before it was returned. Um, you know and who knows it may need a blade. You know I haven't gone through you know check the blade make sure it's not missing teeth so it's a good thing to know is when you guys bring a tool back to the shop you know if it's a hundred percent ready to go then put it on the bench and we'll put it away we'll take a quick look at it but if there is anything wrong with it we need to be sure we tag it out um, what seems to happen nowadays is we drop the tool off um, it's got a bad blade um, it's got a broken cord or there's something else not functioning that's obvious um, and then what happens is we check it quick, we look, we slide it around, okay, everything seems okay, we put it away. Um, if you know there's something wrong with it, or if you bring it back for repair, um, it's, we really need to put tags on them. Because if not, no one really knows why it's there. No one understands that it's broken. Um, even though we may tell um, somebody in the shop or we might tell somebody in the office, um, there's a lot of other people that wander in and out. So somebody may see it on the bench and say, great, the chop saw's back, now I can use it. Um, take it to my job and do all my cutting, and then when they get it to the job site, they find out it's broken. Uh, so the tag really helps alleviate that. It makes sure that if the tool is unsafe, that no one operates it. And it's always good to put a reason why. So this tag has a spot in the back to do that, has a spot for your name and the date, and so does this tag. This tag you'll see when you come back to the shop. These, these are typically the ones out in the field. Um, just make sure you fill that out a little bit. Give a quick little blurb what's wrong with the equipment. You know, does it need a cord? Uh, is the saw blade need to re be replaced? Is the uh, bed out of square? Uh, whatever the case may be, so we can get the right problem solved quickly rather than have to get a tool, somebody tells us it's not working properly and we spend two, three hours diagnosing it. Um, it's, it's just the best way to do it. Um, so if you have any questions, let us know. We're always here to help. Uh, these tags are available on the job site, in the office. Um, and uh, you know, just make sure we keep up with this little stuff and it'll help us be productive more in the field. Uh, thank you and uh, be safe.